New decimal coin design. For some time, preparations have been underway in Melbourne for the experimental minting of Australia's new decimal coins. The Right Honourable Harold Holt MP, the Federal Treasurer, has this to say. When a country decides to change its currency, the designing of its new coins can be an exciting, interesting and challenging business. And we've been very fortunate here in Australia in getting ready for a change to decimal currency in having a brilliant young Australian designer prepare for us the new coins in our currency system. He is Stuart Devlin and he has designed a set of coins which I believe will hold their place with the best to be found anywhere in the world. There will be six coins. On one side there will be the new design of the Queen's head recently approved by Her Majesty. On the other side will be a series of designs of Australian wildlife, animals uniquely Australian, seven of them in all appearing on the six coins. Australia is fortunate in having many animals which occur nowhere else in the world. When we see these animals we think immediately of Australia. Two of the best known are the kangaroo and emu, supporters of the coat of arms. This has been chosen as the design for our 50 cent coin. The platypus is a member of the unique group of egg-laying mammals. It lives in deep pools and rivers and digs burrows in their banks. It is shown on our 20 cent coin. The lyrebird is found in thick rainforests. The name comes from the beautiful lyre-shaped tail, which in the display position is swept forward completely to cover the body. This is how it appears on the 10 cent coin. The only other egg-laying mammal is the spiny anteater, which can be found right across Australia. It protects itself by raising its spines and by digging into the ground with its powerful claws. The spiny anteater is on the five cent coin. In spite of its fearsome appearance, the frill lizard is harmless. When disturbed, it will stand with its mouth open and spread its frill. Here it is on the two cent coin. The smallest member of our possum family is the feather-tailed glider. It glides by means of the membranes along its sides among the trees in the eucalyptus forests. This tiny animal is an appropriate motif for our smallest coin, the one cent piece. Mr. Hal Missingham, director of the Art Gallery of New South Wales, was a member of the advisory panel on design. As far as I know, this is the first time in Australia that such a complicated design problem has been solved in this particular way. The Commonwealth Government invited an advisory panel to produce a series of six designs. Three of the members worked in the closest collaboration with the man chosen to design the series of coins, Mr Stuart Devlin. Once Devlin had worked out his basic scheme, he followed it by very close observation of the animals themselves. From these studies, he worked out the best arrangements of the forms to suit the circular metal shapes of the coins, trying to make the design an integral part of the coin itself. You can see that the designs sparkle. This effect has been achieved by the designer's use of rather spiky forms. We think that the complete set of designs has solved all the technical problems and they present something especially Australian in a most brilliant and unique way. I'm sure you'll find these coins interesting and I hope exciting for you as well. They will give a good introduction to the Australian decimal currency system. <laughs>